Life in prison without the chance of parole. That is the sentence for the former federal officer convicted in a deadly rampage across two Maryland counties last year that left three people dead. Devin Bartolotta was in Montgomery County Court today. She has reaction to the sentence. Eulalio Todil kept his head down in court, not watching as slideshows of his victims played. His fate sealed as prosecuting attorneys labeled him a serial killer. 64 year old Eulalio Todil will never walk again as a free man. The dangerous murderer sentenced to four consecutive life sentences without possible parole. He'll die in jail. He will never walk the streets again, and he will die in jail. Hurting somebody is, is not a easy thing to do. The former federal officer, seen here interrogated by police, launched a two day murder spree back in May of 2016, starting with the murder of his wife and the shooting of another person in Prince George's County. Then, hours later, gunning down four random people in Montgomery County shopping centers, murdering a loving father of two and a single mom picking up milk at the grocery store. All of it sparked, the court said, by financial trouble and a restraining order filed by his wife. Attorneys painted a picture of Tordiel's life unraveling and showed disturbing letters he wrote in the months leading up to those two tragic days. He was apologizing in advance to the innocent people he might kill. He knew what he was about. He wrote about what he was about. The executions took place over two days, but the thoughts and the planning went on for weeks. In court, Malcolm Winfield's widow, Norma, described her heartbreak, telling the judge, quote, Our bad days have become numerous, but we are surviving. The man behind the random violent attacks now spending the rest of his days behind bars. Tordiel did not speak or apologize in court. That was a move that surprised prosecutors. His attorney does say that he is remorseful and regretful. Reporting in Montgomery County, I'm Devin Bartolotta, WJZ Eyewitness News. Now, Torda will be sentenced in Prince George's County in September for his wife's murder and the shooting of another person. He has pleaded guilty.